Hello, and welcome to Evensong. I am Liz Hoffman Bauer, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the black music industry. Last week, this is Black History Week, for instance. Uh, last week, we had uh, Ruth Ann Engel, and she uh, talked about some of her thoughts on Martin Luther King. Our music has so many black roots, so many uh, roots from uh, our black brothers and sisters, there are threads going through almost uh, everything we do in the music. Let's um, talk about the slaves. They had a pretty tough life and they started with spirituals. Some of them were, were rather bad and uh, and uh, helped them get rid of their bad thoughts. Some of them were just so joyful and um, the spirituals were their main things. Now, things they did with spirituals, they'd have somebody over here in the corner and stand up and shout out a word or a name. And then there'd be a group of people over here that would be working and they'd decide to, to make up a story about them or some sort of um, a couple of sentences about them. That, uh, that kind of helped them keep going. There's something I read that you won't believe. Maybe you will, but I didn't know it. They also did beat boxing. B-E-A-T, boxing. Like, um, I didn't think that uh, there was anything until the, the on an idol, I think his name was Blake uh, something, uh, and he did beatboxing, and I thought that was the first, but the, uh, the slaves did that too. You know, the, you wouldn't need anything other than your mouth and your natural rhythm to go about, and they did that. After the war, they just didn't know what to do with themselves very much. It was awful hard for them. You brought her over here and controlled it all, but they, they had so many decisions to make. Some of them went into classical music. Again, that's new to me. <laughs> and um, if they were in a university setting, college setting, they were not allowed to be in the bands or the choruses or the um, orchestras, no matter how good a musician they were. They joined the, the bands at Fisk and Howard and some of the, all the black universities. But one of the that I thought was really kind of ingenious was uh, around the Chicago area. They had something called the, or Cleft, C-L-E-F, Cleft Club, Cleft on uh, your music and they took people of color in there things started exploding a few more years Duke Ellington was in New York at the Cotton Club he had an all black orchestra or band I guess they called it in those days and people that went said that um, he had chords they'd never heard of before now then, down in um, New Orleans, we had Basin Street Blues with Louis Armstrong. Um, all around, we had Count Basie and, and um, Dizzy Gillespie and Jelly Roll Morton. So much jazz. And um, it, it was hard sometimes for, um, for the, the white people. And they sometimes, if they go black, they call it race music. Or if they really wanted to put it down, they called it jungle music. But mostly we loved their jazz and we loved the, the artists that came about with that. Um, soon there were the, the vocalists, Ella Fitzgerald and um, oh, Gladys Knight and the Pips. I'm trying to think of some more uh, wonderful musicians. And I better stop and go and tell you who's going to play tonight. Barry Drudge will be doing Southern Gospel. Barry is a professional 
of knowing that. He traveled several weeks or maybe months with uh, Dottie Rambo's group, the award-winning She Has Doves, <laughs> Dottie Rambo. And uh, he's going to take a segment tonight, I said. Beery is a popular around the area. She sings with a graduated uh, from Manchester University. The last one will be David Drudd. Are um, he's with friends weather the staff in the department and. I love coordinating at the church and while it's still online, he's very, very creative. Today, we're gonna to do a couple songs by Andre Crouch. Andre Crouch wrote scads of songs and he was the first to take gospel music and contemporize it with, with modern trends of, of times and recording techniques that made it seem familiar, yet also relevantly modern. So we're gonna do soon and very soon, and it won't be long. <laughs>
spirituals are a uniquely American music genre, having originated with slaves who were brought to this country from Africa. They often were laments about the feelings the slaves had with their lives of suffering, and an example of that was the first spiritual I sang. Other spirituals sometimes expressed Christian virtues while also describing the hardships of slavery. And the next two spirituals I sing will be examples of that. All my trials and sooner will be done. If really 
religion were a thing that money could buy, then the rich would live and the poor would die. Oh, my trials, Lord, soon be over. Go to sleep, my little baby, and don't you cry. Your daddy was born just to live and die. All my troubles, Lord, soon be over. Too late, my brothers, too late, but never. Soon be over. Soon we'll be done with the troubles of the world, the troubles of the world, the troubles of the world. Soon we'll be done with the troubles of the world. Going home to live with God. No. spiritual I sing is an example of the double meaning in the words of spirituals for runaway slaves. In this spiritual, the Jordan River refers to the Ohio River, and crossing over into campground refers to crossing the Ohio River into Ohio where they will be free. This is Deep River. Deep river, my home is over Jordan. Deep river, Lord, I want to cross over into campground. segment for Black History Month honoring black artists. I'm going to do a couple songs of blues music. Blues music is the root of so many other genres of American music, whether it's jazz or country, rock and roll, R&B. Blues is the, is the root of that tree. One of the stories of blues is also the story of black American artists not getting the credit that they're due. Credit for their songwriting, royalties, uh, for profits made, and so I, I think it's our duty 
do our research and try to tell the truth when we can. Um, the, first, the first song I'd like to do is by the great Willie Dixon. He's a heavyweight boxer, conscientious objector in World War II, and composer of over 500 songs. This one is called My Babe. Stand no cheating, my babe. My baby, don't stand no cheating, my babe. My baby, don't stand no cheating. She won't stand none of that midnight creeping, my babe. The true little baby, my babe. My babe, I know she loves me. Baby, I know she loves me, my babe. My baby, I know she loves me. She don't do nothing but kiss and hug me, my babe. To a little baby, my babe. song is by Muddy Waters, the father of modern Chicago blues. Born in 1913 in Mississippi, he moved to Chicago in 1943 and ended up having a huge influence over not only blues artists of his time, but rock artists of that generation and generations to come. This one is called Going to Kansas City. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got a crazy way of loving. I'm about to meet someone. Street and run Sanded on the corner Twelve Street and Vine but With my Kansas City baby Drinking that Kansas City wine Well I might take a train I might take a plane But if I had to walk I'm going it's the same going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got the crazy way of loving down there. I'm about to meet someone.
Yes, I'm standing on the corner of 12th Street and Vine. I've been standing on the corner of 12th Street and Vine. With my Kansas City baby Drinking that Kansas City wine I might take a train I might take a plane If I had to walk I'm gonna get there just the same Going to Kansas City Kansas City, here I come They got some crazy way of loving I'm gonna meet someone They got a crazy will of it I'm about to meet someone Muddy Waters That's all for me Thanks everybody Bye bye